What are the top long-term CD rates out there right now as we head into July? And specifically, what does this look like for 12 month, 24 month, 36 month, 48 month, and 60 month CDs? Hello, Super Saver. I hope you're having a great week. Long-term CD rates. That's what we'll be talking about in today's video because that's what many of the Super Savers and members in our community requested after we posted this video on the top CD rates for six to 12 month CDs, which I've linked below. Here's what today's video will cover. One, the top rates for long-term CDs that can be opened online. Two, the top rates for long-term CDs offered primarily by credit unions and or walk-in bank locations meaning you have to go to a physical branch with the required paperwork to open your account. And three, some things to keep in mind with the CD offers that we're sharing with you today. This list is quite detailed and as an added bonus should make for some great money conversations as we head into July 4th weekend barbecue shortly. As usual, here's our front of video disclaimer. For a detailed disclaimer, please refer to the end of this video. So let's go through the five online banks that made our list. And yes, the plus one there is for a reason. Surprise, you get something extra again in this last row. This column shows the name of the financial institution. This column shows whether the financial institution is a GSIB. As you can see, Barclays is the only GSIB on this list. For those of you who are new to GSIBs, GSIBs are global systemically important banks, some of the largest and most influential banks out there, and what we personally consider to be among the safest banks in the world. I've linked this GSIBs 101 video in the description below for those of you who want more details. This column shows each financial institution's rate on a 12-month CD. Keep in mind that when I use the term rate in this video, I am referring to the APY, the annualized percentage yield on the CD. This APY assumes that you do not withdraw any of the accumulated interest on the CD before maturity. If you do, what you will get will be lower than the APY rate. Also, these rates are accurate as of the time of this taping. CD rates can and do change frequently though, so make sure you check the latest offers before you invest your hard-earned money. Right, so here are the rates on a 24-month CD. And here are the rates on a 36-month CD. This column shows the rates on a 48-month CD. The NA here means that this online bank does not offer a 48-month CD. And this column shows the rates on a 60-month CD. As an FYI, this table is organized by bank, with the bank with the highest rate on a 60-month CD first and the bank with the lowest rate on a 60-month CD last. I did this for no other reason than the fact that I had to choose a method, and with the exception of the financial institution in the last row here, because this one, which we'll get to shortly, is not actually a bank. And finally, this column shows each bank's minimum required balance to open a CD account online. So number six is for those of you who prefer to bank with credit unions. Here are the rates that Allian Credit Union is offering for the different CD terms. To get the rates in the top row, a minimum balance of $1,000 is required. And to get the somewhat generally higher rates in the bottom row, a minimum balance of $75,000 is required. The NA here is because GSIP status is only applicable to banks, not credit unions. We included Allianz Credit Union on this list because one, it seems you can actually open your CD account online with them relatively easily based on the feedback we've received from the super savers and members in our community. And two, they seem to be fairly uncomplicated about membership requirements as far as credit unions go. According to their website, by opening a certificate, a CD, at Allianz, you'll automatically become a member. Now, all the financial institutions listed here and in the rest of the video are either FDIC insured or NCUA insured in the case of Allianz. NCUA is the FDIC equivalent for credit unions. 
In the cases where the products offered by the financial institution are FDIC insured under a parent and or other bank, we've listed the insured bank underneath in red, as you can see here and here. Just remember to stay within the insurance limit of $250,000 per depositor, per financial institution, per ownership category. So based on our findings and assuming you meet the minimum balance required in this column, it appears that Popular Direct is the one with the best rates for those of you looking for 12 month, 36 month, or 60 month CD. I guess that's why they're so popular. <laughs> anyway, if you're looking for 24 month CD, Bread Savings appears to be the winner. And if you're looking for 48 month CD, First Internet Bank of Indiana takes the prize. And if you're concerned about further instability in the banking sector like we are, or you're just looking for a CD offer from a GSIB because it helps you sleep better at night, then Barclays may be the better option for you. Barclays is also the option here with no minimum balance requirement. Now, because I know there are quite a few folks on our channel who own treasuries, in this very last row, I've included the rates at the time of this taping for an equivalent term U.S. Treasury, where available. For those of you new to treasuries, keep in mind that these rates are not entirely comparable as the interest earned on treasuries is exempt from state and local taxes, while the interest earned on CDs is fully taxable on a federal, state, and local level. As for us, we live in an area with very high state and local taxes. So our general preference is for treasuries and their tax advantages. But you may have a different perspective depending on your circumstances and where you live. Also, do note that the minimum investment balance for a treasury is $100 if you purchase that auction via Treasury Direct, or typically $1,000 if you purchase at auction via Fidelity, Schwab, or Vanguard. Check out our latest member videos if you're interested in learning more about investing in treasuries and other types of fixed income investments. And we're about to pencil in our first live member Q&A for the month of July, so make sure you don't miss that one. So those were the top rates for long-term CDs that can be opened online and that are more widely available. Let's move on now to the top rates for long-term CDs offered by credit unions and walk-in bank locations. Most of the top rates in this section are offered by credit unions, which means you will need to be a member of that credit union to take advantage of the listed CD offer. Most credit unions have very clear, and in some cases, some might say strict requirements for membership. If you're a member of a credit union on this list whose membership requirements are not so strict, please do leave a comment below and let me and others in our community know. What we'll do is start with CDs with a 12-month term. Then we'll move in order onto CDs with a 24-month, 36-month, 48-month, and 60 month term. Here's the list of top 10 CD rates for a 12 month term. This column shows the name of the bank or credit union. This column shows whether the bank is a GSIB. And it's mostly NAs because most of these are credit unions and GSIB status does not apply to credit unions. There are two banks in this section as well, but they're also not GSIBs. In fact, None of the banks on the top 10 list in this section are GSIPs. This column shows the APY. This column shows the minimum balance required. And this column shows the maximum balance beyond which these rates will no longer apply. With CFG Bank, you can apply online. I actually tried to open up a CD with CFG because some folks here asked for CFG review. And it seems their CD rate went up again just this week from 5.42 to this 5.52% here. Well, unfortunately for me, this didn't go as smoothly as I had hoped. First, I had to submit additional documents as part of the account opening process with CFG. And then after a week, they emailed me to inform me that my CFG bank application was rejected. 
Now, I know that some of the super savers and members in our community bank with CFG and have had an overall positive experience. So perhaps my experience was an isolated case. Do drop a comment below and share any feedback you might have on CFG. So Susser is the other bank on this list. They seem to have multiple branches throughout Texas, but it wasn't clear to me based on this message from their website whether you could call client care to open up a CD. I did call client care multiple times, but either didn't get through or hung up because the wait time was dragging on for too long. If anyone here has an answer to this or has managed to open up the CD over the phone, please do leave a comment below. So in some cases, you'll see that a credit union shows up twice, like General Electric Credit Union here. And the reason for this is that the rate is different because the minimum and maximum balances are different. Another interesting observation we had was that no matter which CD term we looked at, the lowest rate, so the number 10 position here on this list, was still better than the highest rate offered by these online banks and Allian Credit Union. Perhaps that's because credit unions and local and or community banks have typically been known to pass on higher rates to their customers or perhaps it's because they have to offer higher rates to their customers because membership requirements by definition limits how many customers they can actually reach to get more deposits. In any case, let's move on to the list of top 10 CD rates for 24 month term. Feel free to pause as needed in this section to see if your credit union or in a few instances, your bank is on this list and for some reason did notify you of these great rates. Right, so here's the list of top 10 CD rates for 36 month term. And here's the list of top 10 CD rates for 48 month term. Balboa Thrift and Loan Association is the only bank on this list. They also offer a 60 month CD with a slightly higher rate than this one here. But unfortunately, you do need to go to a bank branch to open up the account. Balboa is headquartered in the city of Chula Vista and has four branches in California. If any of you do end up opening up one of these CDs with Balboa, do come back and let us know how it goes in the comments below. And last but not least, here's the list of top 10 CD rates for 60 month term. Here's the one from Balboa Thrift and Loan that I mentioned earlier. Grant County State Bank is the only other bank on this list. We tried calling them multiple times as well, but also couldn't get through. But my feeling after all the inquiries we've made for this video is that you will not be able to do this over the phone. Here's their number anyway, if you're interested. And here are their branch locations in Indiana for those of you who are lucky enough to live near one of them. Now, let's move on to the next section of this video before you decide to jump in and explore some of these offers. One, always do your own research if there's a particular offer that interests you. All the information I've shared with you today is to the best of my knowledge and accurate at the time of this taping, but rates can change rather quickly these days. And always read the fine print and be sure you know what the early withdrawal penalty is, what your renewal options are when a particular CD matures, and so on. Two, the relevant sources are listed in the first comment below this video. I usually leave them in the video description below, but there were so many links this time around, they didn't all fit there. Three, we haven't purchased any of these CDs. Many of you asked for this video on the top rates for longer term CDs, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you end up going with one of these offers, do come back and let us know how and whether things worked out for you. Personally, as I mentioned earlier, our preference is for U.S. Treasuries. The only CDs we own are the ones we purchased to make tutorials for this channel. Plus, given my own opinions on the economy, bank stability, 
and the direction of interest rates, I'm not quite ready to commit to any type of fixed income investment right now that would lock me in for longer than my 13-week T-bill ladder. But as I always say, everyone's financial journey is different and you need to decide what's right for you and your circumstances. Now, if you want to take a deeper dive into the world of bond investing, into fixed income instruments beyond CDs, be sure to check out our latest members-only videos and take note of the upcoming live member Q&A that will be happening in July. Click on this join button on our channel page or the join link in the video description below to learn more about our Diamond Nest Egg membership. All right, Super Saver, as always, I hope this video was helpful and that you learned something new. If you did, don't forget to share with those you care about and hit that thumbs up and see you again very soon with more brand new wealth building content for your financial journey.